Hi guys, this is me again. <laughs> Welcome to part two of Get Ready With Me. Okay, please, please, please bear with me because there's all sorts happening today. There's blooming traffic everywhere. Well, they're in normally, so the dogs, if they bark again, then I will pause again. But anyhow, I'm back. Um, right, we're up to lashes, aren't we? So I am using Max Factor Lash Revival, um, which is this one. This is fab. Um, it's got a big thick curved brush which grabs all the hairs and it's a lovely lovely thick mascara so when do, I've got my mirror here look when I'm doing my um, lashes I turn it around to the magnet side uh, magnet magnifying side so just bear with me a minute and I shall put these on I need to put not put my lashes on put the mascara on my lashes Get onto my, I usually do two or three coats. If I catch, like I have at the moment, if I catch my skin, we use a trusty old cotton bud to get it off. So, a couple of coats on here. So back to lockdown day 12, which is what we were, or was discussing, I think. Yeah, we're nearly halfway through. Um, which is good news, and uh, that should be starting to lift everybody's spirits. They've been on about it again this morning, haven't they? Because Boris is now isolating, because he's been in touch with another, or he's been in a meeting with another uh, politician who's got COVID. So he's now isolating this week, so everything he's doing, he's doing from his flat at number 10. Uh, and everybody's just on the news about blowing Boris and they need to do this and he needs to do that. Well, he needs to get make sure he's healthy to be able to do anything. So that's the first thing. You need to keep him healthy. Um, he can't please all the people all the time. I know that. But I think he's got a... a th oh, I, I wouldn't like to think I were doing that job anyway. So, regardless of whatever it gets paid. <laughs> okay, so, that's lashes. Oh, I've just got it all over my blooming hand, look. Putting the, the wand back in. Lashes are done. I need to just get this black off my face. Seeing as I poked it in my face as well as my eye. Uh, uh, my hand. I can't even speak today, can I? Just bear with me a minute. Get this off here. That's it. Rather than try and wipe it off when it's wet, if you just wait while it dries a little bit, it tends to just lift off without damaging the rest of your makeup. You don't off your hand, obviously. But, uh, hey -ho. Right, now hair. My hair is quite easy to do. I have got some VO5 Mega Hole Gel. I usually use a Schwarzkopf one, but they didn't have it, so I go for this. Just usually do a squidge in my hand. This is, uh, obviously it's not naturally pink, but this is my natural hair. It's This is how I just wet it and let it dry. This is how it dries. So, squidge of, splodge of gel, rub my hands together, rub it through my hair quite erratically. Like so. Make sure it gets in there and gets coated. Now, some days I have it back, pushed back, and some days I brush it forward, depending on how I feel. Uh, and then a little bit more for the sides. Sideburns, sideburns, sideboard, sideburns. Sideboard, oh, you put glasses in, you silly woman. Right, down on the sideburns. Around the ears because my hair wants cutting. I did cut it, but obviously I'm not a hairdresser, so I'd, and it's a bit difficult to cut around here yourself. So I'll just stick these down a bit till I get to the hairdressers. So that's my hair done. All done. That looks all right. I've chopped into it so it's not as it's a bit more funky rather than all straight and it's supposed to be different lengths and things 
couple of years back, before I had it cut short, I had, um, it was to my waist and it was really thick, all one length. And all I did was tie it back, so I made the big decision to have it cut short. I have had it short before, I've had it shaved three times for charity, so I've had my head shaved from long, from my hair being really long. Um, I've had it shaved three times for different charities. Um, so I, I do quite like it short, I like it long and I like it short. It's dead easy when it's short. Um, although when it's long mine's quite easy because as I said I just tended to tie it back if I had it loose um, my hair's really thick so I couldn't if I straightened it within five minutes it, it would all gone it's got like a natural wave to it it had gone back wavy again so it used to tow me to death to straighten it because it was that thick and then five minutes later it was wavy again and everybody used to say oh, I love your hair, I love wavy hair but we always want what we haven't got don't we uh, and I wanted poker straight hair but you get what you're given don't you with nature uh, so yeah so I ended up with wavy hair very thick wavy hair and I think that's why my hair tends to stay wherever I put it because it's thick it tends to stay up with the help from a little bit of gel so, uh, yeah, I guess I'm lucky, really. Uh, there's a lot of people worse off than me. I know I'm quite fortunate in a lot of things. So, hmm, that's what to be positive for. That's a good thing to do. Think of your positive things uh, during this kind of horrible lockdown. Um, so... Tomorrow, uh, later today, I've got a viewing, as I've said, and then I'm going to do, I've had a request for a video showing how I put the hampers together that I'm doing for Christmas presents. Mm -hmm. So I will do a video later. I'll try and get it uploaded later as well of how I do the gift hamper things. Um, and it might give you a few ideas for prezzies. I think men are particularly difficult to buy for. They usually end up getting socks or aftershave or these um, sets, you know, deodorant and body gel stuff in. Um, and I think men are really difficult to buy for. But this year, I thought, yeah, I want to do something different. And um, this person likes the coffee. So I thought I'd do a coffee hamper. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'll show you how I put it together. Uh, and then I'm going to do another one for someone, um, a friend of mine who, who likes coffee and hot chocolate and stuff. So I'm going to do one for her as well. Um, the coffee hamper is going to be the biggest one. If you saw the boxes that I bought, the baskets, the plastic bas baskets that I bought from Home Bargains the other day, uh, the biggest one's going to be the big coffee hamper. Uh, and then the other one, the, the hot chocolate and, and coffee, will be the smaller one. Because um, the person that this is for, it's their, um, the big one, it's their main present. So that'll be their, their main present. There's other bits to go with it as well, but um, yeah, hopefully they'll like it. If they do like it, then I'll do more hampers next year, I think. Um, I have done them for people leaving work and things like that before. Uh, and they are quite nice to do and if you're on a budget you can buy bits each week to be able to fill the hamper when you're ready and it can be for a birthday it can be for easter you can put do an easter hamper and put like a simnel cake in there and some chocolate and some tea and and that kind of thing or an, a breakfast hamper um you could do english breakfast tea and marmalades and croissants and things like that you know the croissants that uh, you can bake at home and, and all that type of thing. So there's lots of ideas with gift baskets uh, or hampers, whatever you want to call them. And there are companies set up that actually do baskets and hampers uh, to sell. So there's lots of things you can do. I've received a curry hamper before uh, and it had all different spices um, and a little recipe book and all sorts of things in there. But it's just a bit different. It's knowing what to buy that's the problem I find. I'm rubbing my hands because I must stick it with the gel. Uh, it's, it's knowing what to buy people that I think is the problem. And I think if it's something that's made up of lots of little parts, like a hamper, I don't know, it seems more personal somehow. So yeah, that's what I'll be doing later today. Um, so, and I've got a mini haul for you as well, so I'll do that as well later today, fingers crossed, um, if I can get it all done before snooze time, 
okay so for now thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like the videos uh, please subscribe if you haven't it really helps me and encourages me to grow and helps me grow my channel and encourages me to do more it makes me know that um, helps me know that I'm not wasting time um, I am growing steadily um, but please please share with your friends and uh, and give me a few likes and any comments you've got pop them in the comment box below and I'll answer you I do tend to I do answer everyone and I read all the comments so please be nice please be kind look after yourselves and stay safe and I will see you later today okay lovelies thanks for joining me bye bye